Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I've been watching a bunch of YouTube videos on Sharpen's Best, and they have all these different handheld sharpeners that, um, you know, the, the guy that owns the company and, and posts the videos seems to be able to get things super, super sharp in pretty quick time. And I wanted to just get one because they're not that expensive um, and just try it out and see if it's really as easy as he shows. Um, and then I also kind of wanted to see how much material it's stripping off the blade because my suspicion is that you're taking a bunch of material off, but you know, well, I don't know. I, I, that's why I wanted to try this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. This is their, um, uh, I think they call it the poker chip. Um, so we got a bag within a bag. There's Sharpen's Best. So that's where you can, that's where you can contact them. Okay, um, I think there's, there's nothing else in there. So now we gotta open this guy. And we'll get the, there it is. So we got a snowflake charm, it looks like. I don't know what that is. I don't know why that came in here, but whatever. Snowflake, it's winter, cool. There's the, there's the sharpener, the poker chip. So uh, the way it describes it is, you know, you're supposed to hold it, um, you know, a little bit back from the edge there. It's got two 90 degree corners that are, you know, what you're gonna use to do the, the, the sharpening. And um, I just so happen to have a piece of crap dull knife here. And uh, go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. But um, yeah, just a junk knife. It's actually the, the handle scale is actually missing a screw. So, um, but it is pretty daggone dull. I'll show you. You know, I think that's not gonna cut anything. Um, you know, it's it's butter knife dull. Okay, so that's gonna take a little bit of work to get that thing back into shape, if we can get it back into shape. Um, so the way he shows this is, uh, and I, you know, I could be getting this wrong. This is my very first time trying this, this sharpener. So I may, I may do this totally wrong and, uh, feel free to destroy me in the comments if, if that's what you want to do. But I'm, I'm going to, I watched a video a few times. The point is I want to see, can somebody buy one of these things and then use it right out of the gate and um, do it correctly. And I'm, I'm gonna put this packaging back down so we can see if it pulls off any uh, material. So um, basically, you know, you, you gotta, instead of doing it 90 degrees, you know, you rotate it 45 is what he says. And then you, you kinda hold it, you know, side to side the way you want the, uh, the angle of the bevel there. So, we're just gonna start doing it. I, I'm not nearly as fast as he is, but um, see if we can't get this sharp. And then we'll cut, turn it this way. Again, first time ever using this thing. So if this, if this turns out to be even more dull than we started, then that just shows you that I don't know how to use this thing or that it's crap. Um, it's, um, but it's important information because it, it'll, should give you an idea of whether the lay person, me, can just get one of these straight out of the box and then be able to, to sharpen a knife without any practice or training. And this, this may be one of those things that you need a ton of practice to, to master. Um, I even kind of suspect that it might be, but I don't know. Well, that's why we're trying this. And I'm not gonna speed this up. You know, this <laughs> the way he does it is, uh, you know, super, super fast. And I'm gonna, you know, he says after you do it a few times here, then you start making it lighter and lighter on the pressure. Lighter and lighter on the pressure. And then he shows doing one on either side, just real, real light. 
I want to make sure I get that tip because we're going to be using that. You know, I feel like <laughs> I, I'm, I mean, I can see the edge is getting shinier. Um, so I know I'm taking material off. I just don't know how consistent I'm being on this angle here. I feel like I'm all over the place, so this is probably not going to work, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. So we're just making real light passes now. Real light. No problem. All right, let's, let's check it. They feel sharper. They feel sharper. Let's see if it'll cut, cut printer paper at least. Yeah, there you go. It did, it did sharpen. Um, in terms of material, um, God, I, I see one little tiny speck of metal there. Uh, God, I don't really see anything else. So that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, we, you saw how much I sharpened there, but, you know, there it is. It's, it's sharp. Definitely a complete 180 from where we started. Um, let's see if it'll cut magazine paper. Because if it cuts magazine paper, I'm going to be pretty impressed. I'm going to be impressed. I'm already kind of impressed. Oh, yeah. It cut. I mean, it, I could probably practice a little bit and make it better. But, I mean, that's pretty sharp. See if I can radius the edge a little bit a little bit of radius there I mean that is sharp <laughs> I'm sorry that is sharp it's and it I I mean I can't tell that it took much material off so I stand corrected sharpens best I'm pretty impressed with this little tiny poker chip. I mean, that's something you can throw in your pocket and have with you all the time. I mean, there's no excuse not to have that. That is slightly bigger than a quarter. Um, but good God, I mean, just a couple minutes and this piece of crap that had absolutely no edge on it at all is now sharp. I mean, yeah, there you go. Took off some fingernail. I mean, that's like I wouldn't, I would not do what I did at the beginning and <laughs> and try slicing that on my hand. Now that is nice and sharp, and this is a piece of junk, garbage knife. That uh, man, it only took me a couple minutes. I'm impressed. So uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I had no practice. I've never ever used this before, and it got it sharp, and I didn't even feel like I was doing it right. So man. Impressed. Impressed, guys.